hello and welcome to another quick video here with intech coding clinic once again in this video i'm going to show you another system we have developed to help mobile money vendors to streamline their activities during their mobile money transaction stuff okay let's quickly delve right into that so first of all let me just launch this application however i would want you to know this system is developed using ms excel vba so the first thing is for me to launch the application so i'll just double click on it to launch it so you can see the icon here it is executable with a unique icon for it so let me just double click to launch it and there we go we have the system here this is the home page of the the welcome page of the system however we can log in from here using this login form reset our password from here and then this is the exit button this is for the developer this is our logo and then this will be the logo of the mobile money vendor or whatever okay so now the first thing is let's log in so i'll just click on login what i'm going to do is to enter my username and then password then from there i'll click on login to login and there we go so i'm logged in let me just log out and show you something click on yes log out so supposing i have forgot of my password i can reset my password from here this i'll just enter my username you need to know my username then the password and then let me just confirm that i've just reset my password let me just reset it but after resetting it i should be able to log in with the reset password now there we go click on login and there we go so this is the home page here okay this is where everything start from so for now i already have some dummy data entered you can see i'm using three networks that is three service providers the the number of transactions i've made so far is just five the cash in out of the five transaction is two cash out is three and then total number of cash in is what 700 usd i can change this currency it's very easy to do i'll show you how we can do that as well and then total cash out is 650 successful transaction here is four pending transaction is zero and successful transaction is also one so by default in real time as you are maybe working with a system all the activities that are being performed in the system keeps changing from here in real time without any issue so you get updated here at a go you don't have to scratch your head thinking of how to calculate all those stuffs here okay so now to start with the main form you click on this start here so this is the main form we still have the same dashboard here in real time you see exactly the same thing that is going on inside the system where we have the various networks the transactions the cash in the cash out total cash in total cash out successful transaction pending transaction then unsuccessful transaction now let me quickly change the currency to my currency my lovely country's currency that is ghana cities then we take it from there so i'll click on change currency and i'll just type this probably then i'll just click on update so i've just updated the currency so now if i should reset the system see that the ghana cd is now updated quickly that is that so now I'm going to reset the system and then show you how to input all these details and customize the system to suit your use okay so what i'm going to do is to click on um reset system so you just click on reset so you just click on yes and then you have the system reset now if i should reset this you have everything starting from zero so if i go back here you can see everything is now back to zero simple as that so to start again i'll click on start here so the first thing is to customize the system so i'm going to change it to my name maybe ktcc sorry ktcc momo joint whatever name it is then address and yeah, maybe uh, ktcc at, sorry at home then the mobile numbers maybe plus one 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 whatever so and then another one if i need to add another one here maybe plus just enter that one time once i'm there just click on submit and there you go so you can see that everything has just changed straightforward to ktcc momo joint so i let me just upload my logo in the coding clinic logo just browse go to my desktop and then quickly grab my logo here and there we go once i click submit i have my logo uploaded there we go so now once i'm done with that if you are in a different country aside ghana you would want to change your currency by clicking on this you enter a currency here you click on update and then you have that updated so you want to reset the system you, you do that from here now the next thing we are going to do is to capture the service providers we are working with you can have one mobile money joint where they deal with vodafone cash or telesal cash or telesal money or whatever it is 
MTM mobile money and then Airtel cash. So probably you may be working with all this. We've taken care of all that. You can keep track of all that at a go. So how do we do that? We click on service providers. So the first one, let's say MTN. Just type MTN. And I'll just add their logo. Let me just go to desktop. Just grab this one. This is it. I'll just click on save. So I have that saved. Now if I should just search and I have it written here. Let me reset my form. And the next one will be let me call Telesell. Telesell. There we go. And grab their logo. Check my desktop. This Telesell logo. Just click on add. Successful. I should just search for Telesell. I have it written here. Check. And the third one, that is a Airtel. There we go. So click on add logo. You browse to the desktop. Airtel. There we go. Click on save. There we go. I should just search for Airtel. I have it written. I can update it. Let's say Airtel 2. Just click on update. It's updated. You should just search. You realize that it's now Airtel 2. Click on search. There we go. So let it be Airtel. And then click on update and back to the form. Perfect. So this is how you add your service provider. So once you do that, once we reset the form back here, you see that our service providers are now back to three in real time. So there we go. So if I should close this one and come back here, you can see that the networks or service providers is now back to three. Let's go back again. So the next thing we want to do is probably start with our transaction. So how do we start with the transaction? Just hit this button here. And then the first thing you would want to do is to let's say someone is coming to do mobile money transfer that is a maybe mtn okay so what i'm going to do is to just come here type the person's number let's say 054 there we go and then the account name is maybe in tech let me use that way service provider maybe this is mtn the amount the person is going to send let's say i'm going to send so it's 500 cities so that is what um Sending this deposit, right? Okay, so that is deposit. The person is going to, or oh, is that, is that, yeah, that is deposit. So you make sure you toggle it to the deposit. If it is cash out, if the person is coming to withdraw, then toggle out to the cash out. So now it's deposit. So the amount is 500. So status. For now, we can keep it as pending transaction because we are not yet done. So we can leave this one blank. That is a transaction ID. Since we haven't yet, we'll be getting that from our phone once we are done with the transaction. So once everything is okay, what we're going to do is to click on save transaction saved so after everything you can quickly just click here to set for the transaction let's say the transaction is now completed okay so you can make it change it to what successful transaction or transaction successful there we go so you can just key in transaction id here and then you click on update so it's updated so now let's say we just reset our form if we should just search for it now you should have everything here return up and running it's actually a deposit okay so that is the first thing so let's say another person is coming to do another transaction here. So now if we should close this, let's reset the form and see something. We can see that we have transaction, which is what? One. And that transaction is actually cashing. That is deposit. And then so you can see it's updated. So we have successful transaction, which is one updated here. So let's go to another one. Let's say the, the Momo number. Let's say this one is Vodafone Cash. And the person is coming to withdraw. That is cash out. Okay. 02036 and the name is ktcc sorry ktcc2 capture that as well service provider you go for that is a teles okay and then the amount let's say uh, 200 cities and it's actually cash out so you toggle it to the cash out so transaction you can just make it pending and then this one we can leave it on our or once you get here you can allow it to be like this and hold on after every trans after immediately you are done with the transaction you can come and add your transaction id here as simple as that if it is successful then you make it successful and then you click on save okay however if it is not as we spending then you would have to update it to be pending so let's assume this one is pending okay let's assume okay now let's make it okay let's make it pending and then first and we click on save so now let's check something here in real time so you can see that we have one pending transaction then we have one cash in and that transaction is actually, actually cash out so here is it so you can see that total cash out is still zero because that transaction is spending until it is successful you can't have anything updated here so let's go and update that transaction to be successful and let's see what's going to happen let's come back here and just search for that transaction so we click on search so let's make it you can see it's a cash out so let's make it successful click on update 
but there we go so now we close this when we reset our form let's see this so you can see that it's now updated currently because that transaction is successful until the transaction is successful you wouldn't get it added to your total amount of money you are actually working with or maybe if it is cash in or cash out it wouldn't be added until the transaction is true successfully that is when you can have it added to that as well so basically that is that so you can follow exact same steps to do for all the transactions for all the networks without any issue without any problem without any issue so let me just do more transaction okay so that the report generation will be fun and interesting let me put it that way let me do another transaction here let's see this time around let's say um, the phone number is maybe let me use this number so that i'll be able to i want to say let's say two 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 let me just assume that and then the phone the the owner is or maybe the name on the number is ama one okay that we service provider let's say this is Airtel, and then amount is let's say 300 cities let's say that one to is deposit and then transaction let's say unsuccessful transaction so transaction id let's say we just gotten it so we update it quickly after transaction then quickly what we are going to do is to click on save and there we go so now let's come back here and reset our phone so you can see we have one unsuccessful transaction and our cash in cash out remains the same until that transaction goes through this wouldn't be updated so we can quickly go back and then search for it you can just type if you know the phone number you can just since you'll be having a lot of phone numbers here you can just begin typing let me show you something here reset the phone so if i should come here and begin typing zero five four okay let's say let me just say two 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 okay something like that so when you begin that the reason others are not popping up is because i didn't format the cells to take zeros i'll be doing that and you realize if i begin typing zero five the numbers will begin popping up and you can just scroll and choose the number straight forward by yourself let me just show you so once i click on set i have that return here if i make it successful transaction transaction successful because it's actually a deposit type of transaction i click on update I have that updated so you close this one and then quickly when you reset the form now you can see that we have it's now added to cash in which is deposit successful transaction is now three and then zero and successful is one so basically that is that so now let me close this one now again okay from here you can see we have the same thing updated here transaction so far is three cash in is two cash out one and all that everything is there so now let's try generating some sample reports then we see how it's going to be so let's say we want to generate general reports okay so let's say we've been using the system for long and then your boss comes to say okay i want to see the reports from so so and so date okay between two dates let's say from first january 2024 to 1st may 2024 the boss wants to see the report okay now we today's date is actually not first since today is 15th let me make it like 17th may 2024 and then on what network are we generating the reports on maybe mtn okay so i'll just click on generate so we have just one transaction on mtn and that transaction is actually deposit and it was actually a successful transaction you can go ahead and print that report by clicking on it. there wasn't cash out during this period for mtn it was only cash in that is deposit so you can see that from here perfect if there is cash out you should see it here once i click on print i can just print mtn report so i would want to keep it on the desktop let me just name it mtn report just click on save there we go so we close this one and close this one once we minimize this and just search let's double click this we have a report from here there we go you can see that we have it your momo joint name your address your phone number your logo everything is intact you can see that we have the date start date and end date the service provider is empty and without cash out not cash in place and there we go everything is up and running so let me close this and then quickly go back again let's try generating another report let's say transaction report the first one was actually a general report let's try transaction report so you want to see probably successful transaction okay on mtn or maybe you want to check on pending transaction okay let's say mtn you want to check pending transaction pending all those that are pending you click on generate there is no pending transaction okay however let's try searching for let's say successful transaction you generate and then we have one so transaction let's check unsuccessful transaction in which you have that so there is now no unsuccessful transaction so if there were to be unsuccessful transaction or pending you will see it here then you should be able to print that as well 
so basically that is allowed let's let's go back and get another two types of transaction one should be pending one should be unsuccessful for whatever network we want to use okay so let's come back here so phone number is let's say three 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 then account number is maybe why then service provider let's say okay let's say tell us how. and then the type of transaction is the amount is let's say 500 cities transaction is cash out let's say it's a pending type of transaction we add transaction id here we click on save like i said you can actually you can easily come back and search for transaction and update it uh, transaction status to either successful or pending once it's successful, you have to come and update it to be successful before you can have things working smoothly for you so now let's close and reset our form so you can see we have one pending transaction we should go to transaction report and then we go for telesell then we go for let's go for successful you see that there is okay there is one successful transaction on telesell so we got it let's go for pending there is one pending transaction let's go for unsuccessful there is no unsuccessful transaction so it is as simple as that so with this you should be able to work with all the networks all the service providers within the same system have any form of reports you want generated and have avoid those kind of long calculations longest calculation you want to find out whether the account is balanced this and that with this system you should be able to have everything up and running so it is as simple as that so basically i'll be leaving the link to the system in the video description and just go ahead and click on the link to grab it and then you use it for your momo joint or momo business time for us to do away with the paperwork and then embrace this amazing system work with it and let's know the feedback so thank you so much for watching and then see you in our so with this we can just click on log out from here then we will log out and easily log in back from here let's say admin and then password and sorry then click on login again successful so with this you can see that the system is up and running everything is working perfectly so at a glance you should be able to see all the transaction activities going on all the service providers the transactions the cash in cash out the total amount of cash in the total amount of cash out all of them should be able to have them up and running without any problem without any issue thank you so much for our next series of videos bye